Hi angels and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is 20 ways to stay productive during quarantine. The first method is to write out a to-do list. So this to-do list is things you want to get achieved, get out of this quarantine. So I know during this pandemic you're probably thinking about all the things that you're going to want to do after it. But since you have so much free time, you can basically do whatever you want from home. So I basically read like wrote out all the things that i wanted so like getting rid of my acne losing weight getting healthier fixing my hair damage all that stuff so you just want to make sure that you're coming out of quarantine rocking it the next method is to take time for some self-care so focus on yourself focus on your hygiene things like that you can see i'm doing my nails which is self-care because you are focusing on doing your nails and making them look nice so i feel like take this time and if you wrote out self-care in your to-do list then here you go the next method is to exercise so exercise so that you get your blood flowing your heart rate up so that you make sure that you're coming out of quarantine fit and ready to take on life again. Um, Planet Fitness, which is what I'm showing you, is doing home work-ins. So take advantage of the free um, workouts. There's a bunch of celebrities doing it, a bunch of different um, trainers doing it. So just have fun and do some Planet Fitness workouts. Another method to stay productive div is to learn a new skill so whether this skill be like a sport a hobby you can see i'm doing the wulo which is a method of learning new languages i actually really like it i'm learning spanish i'm joking i'm spanish i just can't read or write so we're working on it but you can see there's a bunch of different languages that you can choose from and yeah just take advantage of this time this precious time and quarantine to benefit yourself the method is to practice your old skills so if you're going to learn your new skills you can also practice your old skills and perfect them so i play volleyball so on youtube you can look up like volleyball skills basketball drills things like that so there's a bunch of different videos that you can choose from and it's pretty they have like pretty solid people you can go from like people that don't know how to play to people that like watching highlights is also very beneficial because then you can see how working in a team is productive. So yeah, brush up on those old skills. The next method to being productive during quarantine is connect with your friends. So you can connect with your friends in many different ways like social media, like Snapchat, Instagram, TikTok, all those things. Um, you can FaceTime your friends, you can text them. It just kind of depends on what you prefer. So yeah, you can look at other people's lives and connect to them and relate your life to them. Kind of like that thing. Socializing is good, so make sure you're talking to your friends on a daily basis because you want to make sure that you are bonding and sticking together during this hard time. The next method is to read. I know a lot of people don't like to read. Personally, I don't read that much, but I found this app called Libby from school. It's like the Mid-Continent Library and they have ebooks but they also have audiobooks and I'm obsessed with the book right now after like the series I'm on the fourth book so I recommend that series to listen to it's amazing but um I feel reading and listening to books is really good because you know you're still working your mind even though you're not in school you're still like processing things and you're thinking about it so just reading is like good for your brain Another way is to clean slash organize. I find like cleaning and organizing my room just, I just love like the out, what comes out of it. Like you feel like you've just taken a bunch of stress off of your life. So one thing that I, um, that's like scientifically proven, if your room is neat, your, your brain is gonna be like empty. Like you're not gonna have that much stress, but if it's full, your brain is gonna be clustered. So, I feel like if you clean, it's a form of therapy. So yeah. The next method is to stay healthy.
healthy or focus on staying healthy it's not just like drinking water and eating right it's also like making sure your hair is organized and in place your nails your body your lips just making sure that you're focusing on that self-care now that we have so much time like i said earlier and i added in hand sanitizer so that you guys know that you need to be taking the right precautions because of this pandemic but of course just focus on yourself right now next tip is personal development so as i said earlier you need to be focusing on yourself but step away from the stress you have a time to focus on your family and yourself and kind of stepping out of those bad habits that you've had so if you're unorganized now it's time to organize so personal development you can see i'm writing in my planner writing down all the things i have during quarantine so like dance enrolling in some like things that will take your mind off of what's happening outside and just focusing on yourself and your personal development another method is to work on your mental health so working on different ways to focus on yourself you need to focus on your mental health i know we talked about physical health and in the app store there's a bunch of different like meditation relaxation kind of apps my favorite one right now is relax melodies um i like that it's like oh how can we help you with your needs so you kind of just click all the things that you want to use this app for kind of thing and i feel like it really does help so like if you have like a bad sleeping habit like bad sleeping habits you can focus on that and make sure that you want the right sleep and de-stressing and i like this because it has like a bunch of different categories like meditations bedtime stories things like that to help you out with your mental health the next method is to start a blog or youtube channel now you don't have to take this tip this one's optional but this is the perfect time to start something that you haven't done before so i started my youtube channel because i have a lot of spare time to help you guys with your school and just productivity so make sure you subscribe just saying the next way to be productive is to start a journal so now that we have a lot of time you can start a bullet journal whatever kind of journal i'm using 300 writing prompts and i usually write in this frequently my prompt was if the if the wind could speak if you were a wind interpreter what would your wind say so comment down below what your wind would say the next method to being productive is do research now it doesn't have to be like research that's going to change the world it can be like fun research like dogs facts cat facts facts you didn't know about niagara falls um i looked up facts that you didn't know and i actually found some cool stuff um it's not like i would remember this for the rest of your life but have fun with this one learn so that you're increasing your knowledge and knowing more about the world so now that we're in quarantine and have a lot of free time you can use this time for that the next method is to train your brain so by training your brain i mean like getting out of old habits taking time for yourself to focus on what you're supposed to be doing what you need to work on and i'm just writing out a daily schedule so i know what i'm supposed to be doing every day the next way is to take a walk in nature i actually do this every day but it really helps just calming de-stressing and just getting out and taking some fresh air and focusing on yourself and on the world and the beauty you see around you the next way is to cook slash bake um this is a form of therapy but on pinterest they have a bunch of recipes you can try and i feel like now that we have a lot of time you can find some of your new hobbies some things that you like to do really focus on yourself and your family and figuring out um what you want to achieve in the world and i feel like if you like to cook and you didn't know that you did this is the time to do it so also i have a pinterest account studying angel underscore studying underscore angel so make sure you guys go and follow for more content the next way is to send letters so these could be letters that you actually send or letters that you're gonna t show people after quarantine just really pour yourself out and express your feelings the next tip is to go through your technology so what i mean by that go through your computer your phone your ipad your tablet whatever it is and go through every single section of it and delete apps you don't need add things that you want things like that just take this time to clean and organize 
as I mentioned earlier, it's like a form of therapy and I know a lot of people like their technology, so what better way to clean and organize than to clean and organize your technology? The last and final way to be productive during quarantine is to start something new. So this could be a new hobby, a new sport, a new TV show, something just new. Have a fresh start. So you'd be coming out of quarantine amazing, refreshed, ready to see all your friends and everything. So just be like a new person. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope this video helps you in this pandemic time, this during quarantine, if you're bored, things to do. Um, I know you guys are hearing this a lot, but please make sure that you're taking the right precautions, staying home because staying home changes lives, saves lives. So there's so many things you can do from your house. So make sure you guys subscribe and hit the notification bell to be part of the Angels team. And also comment down below more Sunday suggestions. Bye guys.